I want to take your attention to the Word of God found in the book of St. John, chapter 15, and just two verses there. St. John 15, verse 7 and 8. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that he bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. And I just want to share with us briefly on this word, abide in Christ, the condition of answered prayer. This speaks to the believer, the body of Christ, those have made a covenant, an agreement to follow the Lord, to serve him. The Bible tells us that if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. There is that newness of life that comes to the person who decides to accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior. To abide in him speaks of one willing to surrender your life and to accept God's decision for your life. To abide suggests acceptance without resistance or to protest. So if God says I need to abide in him, then I will fully, purposefully, accept God's will and purpose for my life. And every believer knows that it is important that your prayers are answered. Your prayers are answered. And there are many in the Bible from way back in Genesis who have prayed and have seen answers to their prayer. One of the key factors in the life of Jesus is that they are taught us how to pray and that when he prays to his father there's always results and there are many instances that especially in the book of john where jesus speaks of his father he said i must work, work of him who set me while it is day for the night cometh where no man can work and i also do that which pleases my father so jesus accept the will of the father for his life and so when he goes in prayer, he knows that it is answered. Remember at the, at the tomb of Lazarus, when he prayed, as he said, Father, he recognized the presence of his father. He recognized to whom it was um, sent to, or whom was addressed in that prayer. And we know the outcome that God answered the prayer of Jesus Christ by raising Lazarus from the dead. Jesus now speaks to the disciples, Christians across the world, and likens us as branch. Branches connected to the vine. It is important that we learn to abide by the rules that Jesus has set forth to govern our lives, to direct our path. If we decide to follow the rules that govern the road code, then we should be safe. But if we decide to break the rules, as we know that many have broken the Road Traffic Act and serious accident has occurred, some have even lost their lives. And so it is important for us to abide in Christ because it is abiding by his rules, his laws, his instructions that our prayers are answered. If the employee decides not to abide by the contract, he can lose his or her job. Am I right? So it is important that we remain, we stay with Jesus as a believer, that our prayers are not hindered. 
and that our life must be cleansed at all times that God can hear our prayer. And even when our life becomes messed up by mistakes, we have messed up our garment, and he says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And the good thing is that the God we serve is a prior answering God. He said his ears are not heavy that he cannot hear. Neither is his hand short that he cannot deliver. So it is important that the believer we abide by the guidelines that is set out that we're able to succeed in any project that we set our heart and toward. Not just in church, but it can be in our family life, in business, on the job. It is important that we adhere to Jesus' instruction, especially as believers, especially as those who have committed our life in following Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Here in our scripture today, in St. John chapter 15 from verse 7, it says, if, and this is the condition, if you abide in me, if you stay with me, follow my direction, follow my counsel, follow my wisdom, the wise man Solomon says, in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord and he shall direct your path. You cannot succeed in life if you follow an off-road track that leads to nowhere. And any road outside of Jesus will lead somewhere that you might not want to go. But if you follow Jesus, you will encounter success, victory, the life as an overcomer, as a believer in Christ, we want to know that our life is lived as an overcomer, victorious, but the condition is still there. Abide in me, Jesus said. Everything else becomes a secondary outside of Jesus Christ. So he says, if you abide in me, and my words. So there are two things that is necessary for the condition of your prayer to be answered. Number one, we must abide in Christ. Now, to abide in Christ speaks of the fact that, first of all, you must accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And the Bible says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. In St. John chapter 3, Jesus said, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and you hear the sound thereof. But you cannot tell whither it goeth and whither it cometh. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So when you abide in Jesus, the Word of God then comes alive in you. So the believer must Seek to know the word. Seek to have the word. The psalmist David tells us, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. And in Psalm 119, verse 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. So very clearly, as the Lord outlines it for the believer, that two essential ingredients is very important in the life of every child of God. And that you must abide, we must abide in him. Secondly, the word of God must be there. Now, it is important that you know the word. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, I believe verse 14, it says, this is the confidence we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, slash his word we know that he hears us so to know the will of god you must have the word so we pray according to the word of god when you pray the word of god it gives you confidence you will not become like a double-minded person who is unstable in all his ways 
The word of God will make you a stable believer. That means when you pray according to his word, you have the assurance, the confidence, and the faith to believe God. So when you abide in Christ, stay in him, it is in him that the foundation for life exists. It is around him that the breath of life is there for you as a believer to grow up in him. So he says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. And the third and important element here, you shall ask what you will or what you desire or what you need. The Bible says in St. Matthew chapter 21 verse 22, whatsoever you shall pray in prior believing, you shall receive. Now for you to believe, you need the word. And the Bible tells us that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In Romans chapter 10. So it's very important that the word is there. It gives you the authority. It gives you that confidence, that faith to believe God, that, that mountain that stands in your way will be removed. Believe God. So three, three things happen here. Number one, abide in me, Jesus said. Number two, my words abide in you. Number three, you shall ask what you will. And number four, it shall be done. Not, may, not uh, maybe, not preventure, not perhaps. No. The word of God says, it shall be done. So there are four things in this verse that is clearly outlined that if you abide in Jesus, um, the fourth one will come into effect. It shall be done. It shall be done. Did you get that? It shall be done. And in verse 8, My father is glorified that you bear much fruit. Now for you to bear fruit, you must abide. You must stay in Jesus. And the fruit bearing child of God is declared a disciple. And that means every disciple is a child, is a fruit bearing child of God. Let our heavenly father be glorified by the fruits that comes out of your life. When you abide in him, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Let me encourage you today to pick up your, your heart and your spirit and your faith and draw close to the Lord. He said, draw near unto me and he will draw near unto you. Abide in Christ Jesus. Stay with him. Accept his guideline. The one thing that our parents cannot abide is blatant disobedience. And every parent know that if your child will not abide by your rules, by your guidelines, by your instruction, then something is going to happen after that. So the condition of answered prayer, my brothers and my sisters, fellow ministers, we must abide. If I regard iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. But a broken and a contrite heart, oh God, you will not despise. I, I, I encourage you to draw near to the Lord today. I encourage you to go before the Lord. If you were at any time being pulled away, drawn away, I encourage you to come back to the Lord. Remain in him. Stay with him. It is in Christ we have the victory. It is in Christ that we become the overcomer that he plans and purpose for our lives. May the Lord give you grace and strength and favor as you look to him, the author and the finisher of our faith. If you have been blessed today by this teaching of abiding in Christ, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, subscribe, like, and comment that many others also may be impacted by this word and that their life will become a blessing 
not just to themselves, but to your church, your home, your community, your workplace. Let the light of Jesus be seen in you as you stay connected to the source. Jesus is the source of our life, of our lives. Go ahead, please, and subscribe to the channel. Click that red button at the bottom there. Subscribe and click on that bell. Whenever we go live, you will be notified. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. Share with your friends. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful experience and a fresh encounter with the Lord. Heaven bless you.